Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. It's been a while. Welcome back from, to more to Sky 4, Promised Revisited. In the last episode, we did a bit of the Fuka and Desco show, and Fuka decided, much to my surprise, that she was actually going to reincarnate. So, uh, let's continue the story and find out what's up with that. Knowing that she'll lose all of her memories, Fuka decides to go through purification and reincarnate. However, unable to accept Fuka's decision, Desko's overwhelming emotions have split her in two, causing her to go out of control. Let me explain. Desko's emotional and physical capacities have reached their limits and have caused a supercell division within her body. The torn up Desko, torn Desko, begins an attack to take over the netherworld in order to stop Fuka from reincarnating. The power of Torn Desko devastated the Corruptment That's a thing, all right. Axel, and she took over the netherworld in a single day. And now, Torn Desko's dreadful scheme was about to... That's also a thing, all right. Allies. Torn Desko, bringing the netherworld under her control in a single day. Looks like the effect of my final boss training is also influencing your torn part. I praise you for that, Desco. Thank you, but... But this was all caused by the weakness in your heart. Think about this, and make sure you also develop the mental strength it takes to be a final boss. This isn't the time to be giving her a final boss lesson, my lord. This is an emergency. That idiot Axel's lack of power isn't helping this urgent situation either. Not only has he let Torndesco take over his office, but he's now serving under her too. <laughs> Axel just knows Axel. no shame. Huh. His skills at adapting quickly allow him to survive anyway. Who cares about that idiot? We have to do something about whatever Torndesco's up to. You mean revising the printing law regarding reincarnation and establishing Fuka's paradise, Big Sis Loveland? The hell with Big Sis Loveland? A paradise of fashion trends, desserts, and hunky guys? I won't allow such an idiotic place to exist in my netherworld. I have to stop her now! This is all for her Big Sis, huh? She's trying to change the lass's mind by creating the world the lass has always dreamed of. This ordeal was caused because of you. You had better take responsibility for it, Lass. Big Sis is not to blame. This is all because of Desko. Please don't yell at Big Sis. Big Sis Loveland aside, I can't allow the revision of the Prinny Law. As a Prinny instructor! Any revisions to the Prinny Law can delay the reincarnation process. Then... This netherworld could be filled with prinnies again. Correct! If she doesn't consider such a risk, then she has no right to be our ruler. Just wait, Torn Desco! I will put a stop to your ambitions for the future of the prinnies! I'm coming with you! What was that, lass? Don't you want this big sis loveland thing? I told you, I want to reincarnate! I'm not letting anyone get in my way. Plus, I can't let my rep be ruined by everyone thinking that I'm the cause of all this trouble Torn Desco is creating. I'm not sure how much of your rep you can salvage after casually invading the Mint. Anyway, I'm coming. I have to let Torn Desco know how I feel. Big sis! You too, Desco. Sitting around here all confused isn't gonna solve anything. A final boss should go and create havoc. Besides, you might feel better afterwards. 
create havoc to feel better? Well, I suppose that is very final boss-like. Okay, big sis. Desco will come too. Desco will create havoc. Great. Let's go, everyone! Oh, okay, we got Valzi and the uh, Fenrin back. That's cool. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting name for an episode. Oh, President Hugo has joined the party. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. So 100. I had to change type bow. Very interesting. And I forgot to use him. So, let's go uh, talk to everybody. New chapter, new character dialogue. <laughs> it's a thing. So it's very. <laughs> Desco is happy. So, the love land. So this is the future site of Big Sis Loveland. This is the White House. Offering her the core of the Netherworld? What the hell was Axel thinking? He just sucks up to whoever is in power, I guess. Probably nothing at all. The only thing he thinks about is how to earn the favor of influential people. I liked him better back when he was the dark hero. According to the info I've gathered, this place is going to be filled with beautiful flowers. Flowers in the netherworld? That doesn't sound too bad. I like it. I wonder if they're Yuya flowers. Demons would become wimps if this place were remodeled to match girly tastes. We must put a stop to this. Stop right there! I won't allow any trouble in my territory. I thought it was Desco's territory now, Axel. Axel, what are you doing here? Hmm. I heard you handed over your title to Tormdesco quite easily. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be here? I'm like the right-hand man for Lady Tormdesco. 
And I'm also the executive director of the Big Sis Loveland Construction Project. My mission is to turn the Blight House into whatever Big Sis loves, one decoration at a time. That thing in the background is changing colors and it's bothering me. Is that How a can you act wheel? so proud knowing that you failed as president? You're the executive director? Ugh, you're the worst person to choose for that. Whatever. Where's Torndesco anyway? <laughs> I can't tell you that, even if you are Big Sis herself. What? You don't get to call me Big Sis. Oh, yeah? Well, I actually have full right to call you Big Sis. I accepted this position because I was touched by how much Lady Tordesco cares about her big sister. I see you're still a family man, Axel. At least that's a thing. It's totally not because Lady Tordesco beat me up in the first turn. I'm helping her out of pure goodwill. Any of us could beat you up in the first turn, Axel. That's why I'm allowed to call you Big Sis. He's taken his excuses so far, he's turned it into an art form. Classic Axel. We don't have time to put up with this idiot. Let's get rid of him quickly, as usual. We are also going to beat you up on the first turn. Now what? Oh shoot, you know what? I probably should have dealt with the Geo panels instead of uh, <laughs> trying to take down Axel. Oh well. We can do that too. For me.
like you guys have gotten a little stronger since the last time. But that was only a test. Don't you dare think you can just go home after trying to interfere with a big sis Loveland construction project. Actually, I wasn't thinking of going home. I was thinking of tearing it all to the ground. I don't really like this story. I just want to get it over with. That really isn't what a man should say right after he's just been beaten. I'm tired of this stupid loser callout. Let's hurry up and defeat Tornesco so we can go home. Yeah, let's spit it out, Axel. Where is Torn Desco? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Plans to build Bixis Loveland are already underway. Just leave already. Absolutely not. I won't allow anyone to revise the pretty law. I will put a stop to Torn Desco's rampage, no matter how many times it takes. Axel, give up. My lord is serious. There is no way out for you now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell Tordesco on you! I get so sad from watching Axel sometimes. Like how humans sometimes feel sorry for ants. It's a useless side effect of the ego. Come, everyone! We shall follow Axel to Tordesco! Filled with flowers forever? Well, a netherworld filled with flowers is better than a dark and filthy netherworld, but being here forever is a different story. Different? Then, if the netherworld had more of your favorite things, would you change your mind? Hmm, it's not like that. Torn Desco is a part of you, right? So, does everything she's doing seem fine to you? Yes. But you don't seem to be enjoying it. Desco doesn't understand. I see. You just don't understand, huh? Well, there's no point in thinking about it then. Let's go, Desco. Oh, okay. I don't know what those kanji said, and I don't really care. That was this episode. See you guys later.